up, people? What's up? Like, uh, like, ladies and gentlemen, y'all see the star of my life is Liz on the screen, on the in this video. And uh, it's like this though. I did two videos of this girl, and two videos of this girl. One was about the article that some guy wrote, and the second one was the blind game, where she was blaming me about blaming me for the, what this guy said and I thought it's kind of bullshit because I thought I just thought about it about this uh, about her show about this because I say here and I thought about it and I kept thinking about it it's like okay something's really something's really bothering me about this girl and uh I'm flipping there's gonna be pictures about reality stars and all that kid shit it what really got me fucked up was it's like you gotta remember, I didn't write this article for one thing. I'm not bad mouthing her. I'm just saying, proving a point on how on how she sits there and sits there and being fake. You know, the show being fake. Now you gotta realize that every reality show, reality show is gonna be fake. Now it made me think about it. But it made me think about that damn article that the, this guy wrote about her. I said, I think he's telling more of the truth. I think he's think he's telling the truth more than she is because she sits there and she blames me for it's like, how could you spread these lies? Well, you gotta remember, you're on a fucking TV show for MTV. The reason why you can't say it's uh, fake because you're on a under a contract with them. Anytime you make a, anytime you sign a contract with MTV VH1. Because you know MTV and VH1 are the same company, but anytime you make sign a contract with them, that contract probably clearly states that you can't go out and say this is fake because they'll be bad mouthing the company. So it's fake. Everybody knows that reality shows are fake. Scripted, scripted, scripted. It's not real. And the reason why I say it's fake, though, is because. Maybe like I said, the reason why I say her show is fake because it kept because I kept thinking about that article, that article that the guy wrote, like the nerd heard and all that. Cause I said, you know what? They probably fed her this information. They probably like one thing is you get paid to do like they get paid to do these appearances and shit. Think about it. These reality stars get paid to go to certain places. She busted out and said she was at the convention and she was on a panel or something like Star Wars. She was there with something about Star Wars. And she was on a panel. I said, you got to remember, they paid your ass to be there. That was a dead giveaway. you saying that it was, it's, your shit is real. You could have went on, you could have said anything, thing. Uh, yeah, that really happened. No, it's fake. Stop telling people that that show was real. Every show that every show that's been reality show that's been made, the real uh, Flavor Love, Rock of Love, Real Chance of Love, I Love New York, The Bachelor, Jersey Shore, Road Rules, Real World, all that shit is fake. <laughs> There's a guy that even proves that Jersey Shores was fake as shit. And I seen it, and I actually seen it when they, uh, it was just, it was last season when they was in Italy, and it was the second to the last episode where Snooky and Dina went out to a club, and they was gonna leave, and some ice came out of nowhere, and they started pushing over bottles at the bar. The ice came from the came from the right side of the screen from the producer. The producer leans in and tells them to start knocking over the bottles. Second thing is, the bartenders didn't do shit. They stood there for a while while they was breaking several bottles of cheap ass liquor. All this shit is fake. Like on Flavor of Love. Mine was there, what, three seasons of that shit. Three seasons. 
Because y'all remember first season, Hoops won. Third season, what was it? Uh, Delicious. Delicious won the, set, the, the, the second season. Third third season, he ended up marrying his baby mama. Getting engaged to his baby mama. Think about it. Why did he put all these girls through hell? Second, second thing is, why did he have so many damn seasons? If you really found love, I would... And it makes no sense, man, when they sit up there and say, well, the reason why they do this, the reason why they do these shows is because certain people want to get that paycheck, that paper. They want to get that fame. They want to make themselves look good on national TV so they can get a fan base. And I think that's the cheapest shot to do. Because <laughs> you, if you paid attention to all the shows, that was, all the reality shows on VH1, like, uh, Rock of Love, Daisy of Love, Real Chance of Love, I Love New York, uh, Flavor of Love. It's always, because one thing is, every, I, mean, I watched every season of these shows, and I've always seen certain, like, every person that was on these shows, I end up knowing where, they're, where I've seen them from. Like Hottie, like, hold on, like Hottie, like, she was from Flavor of Love. I don't know if I can find her. Like Hardy. This is Hardy. She was from the first season of Flavor of Love. This bitch was on Blind Date before she even came to Flavor of Love. This is fake shit. I don't see why anybody would watch this nasty shit. Hold on. Like The Bachelor. Fake as hell. I'm, I hate The Bachelor with the passion. I hope every one of them one of those fucking contestants catch a fucking STD or VD I hope every contestant that goes on The Bachelor catches a fucking STD and VD or some shit like it because they don't deserve it because one thing is I don't think people don't deserve to be on TV like that I think it's foolish I think it's bullshit <laughs> how people favor these people oh I love this I don't even know this guy's name but he was on The Bachelor like, I don't see why people favor people on on The Bachelor Bachelor I could tell you man when I was watching Flavor, all these reality shows like Flavor of Love and shit I had my crushes I had my crushes like I, I had a big crush on her I thought she was fine as shit I wanted to tear that ass up I said, well, I would too. I wanted to tell this guy, girl's ass up because she was fine and shit. There were several women on these shows I, will, I really wanted to fuck. And, I, and this is Becky, yo. Wow, whatever. This is what got me, got me even more convinced that shit was fake. Because I asked her, because one thing was, Back when I was on the site called Now Live, I asked her, I said, let me, uh, will you come on my show so I can interview you? She told me, fuck no. I don't do interview. Bull fucking shit. Your ass goes on national radio <laughs> doing any, doing videos like, doing interviews like a motherfucker. I asked you to do a video. I asked you to do. I asked you to do an interview. You said fuck no, but you can do that shit on radio. I got caught from doing an interview on the phone while she was on the show. See, this is why. I did, this is why I hate this shit. I know it's real. I know this shit is fake. And shit, you probably like, why are you worrying about this shit so much if you know it's fake? The reason why is to tell people like, don't be favored. Don't be favoring these people, man. Don't be sitting up there looking at these people as big top stars and shit. Oh, that's definitely... I was like, Deanne, I think it was her name. I still fuck her, man. But... Rodeo. I'm telling you, don't favor these people, man. Like, I still watch Jersey Shore, because I think I'll get a kick out of it, man, because I think it's funny with two... But <laughs> all these dumbass people in this house. I'm telling you, man, it's fun watching dumbass, dumbass people. 
bunch of all these dumbass people in one house making an ass out of themselves. And why does Mike the situation talk in a third person? That's that's the question. Why does he always talk to like the third person? Talk with the third person? Because it's kind of fucked up. He talks as a third person. Oh, you know the situation. You gotta be the bad guy. Mike gotta be the bad guy. Like, are you stupid? Like, this is the, that's how you know they're fucking scripted. Because you got fuckers like Mike the situation say, talking in the third, talking into the third person, talk to the third. Person. Oh, the situation got to be. Oh, the situation got to be. And plus, you got these reality. Plus, you got these YouTubers, man. They more faker than a ten dollar. They more faker than a three dollar bill. All these motherfuckers are fake. You can sit up there and say, Oh, the bash is not fake. The bash is not fake. How come every time you see a damn season, they do that fucking reunion or reunion show shit? Why do they fight with the dude, with the guy that was doing the bachelor shit? Oh, he broke up with me and shit. There's a reason. Fake, fake. They only do it for the, cause they get that paper. They only doing it cause they want that paper. Why do you think Hoops got famous? Why do you think Hoops is end up dating Shaquille O'Neal? Cause all she wanted to do was fuck with somebody in the NBA. I think she was. I think she's fine. I think she's very beautiful, attractive. But that bitch is scamming like a motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, man. I just hate fake ass people. That's why I'm calling this this video fake ass people. Motherfuckers who are faker than a motherfucker. They're more faker than Dolly Parton's titties. They're more faker. They more fake than fucking Kim Kardashian's wedding. All these motherfuckers going on national TV and making the ass out of themselves and say, and they say, I deserve respect. How can I respect you when you doing this shit on national TV? I can't respect you as a human being. I can't respect you as a person. That's all that is to it. I cannot respect you as a human being or a person because you humiliate yourself on national TV. I cannot respect anybody that's been on national TV on these reality shows. Oh, the show is real. The show is real. If it's fucking real, prove it. If it's fucking real, it, then prove it. VH1 even call themselves out. On, on a love, uh, loving hip hop, loving hip hop. The last season, the, the season just just ended this this year. <coughs> Excuse me, but and they went behind the scenes and show they scripted all this shit. Don't trust me. Go on VH1 and, and look that video up when they go behind the scene. And, and like they got all the cash. Oh, we got her this season. We got her this season. You get less camera time, you gotta read this script, it's fake as a motherfucker, I hate this shit, I hate this shit man, fake people and people are glamorizing these people, people glamorizing, I wanna be just, like, I'm for real man, you got all these teenagers watching, I wanna be just like, uh, I love New York, I wanna be like Lacey, I wanna be like j -Wow. I wanna be like, well I think j is fine as fuck, but, I want to be like Snooky with a little fat, chubby bitch that drinks and fucks everybody in sight. For real. For real. I feel like everybody's like, well, everybody was like, everybody knows she's pregnant. Three months pregnant. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, though. I feel bad for the child. I really do. I really do feel bad for Snooky's child that's not even born yet. The reason why I say this, the reason why I say this is because one thing is, because one thing is, she drinks more than anybody, and she fucks anybody. Why would you, why would you, one thing is, why would any man want to get that girl pregnant? If she's fucking everybody in sight. I'm for real though, if she's fucking all these dudes and drinking like a mother, that boy's, that child's going to come out retarded. 
Sarah Palin can kiss my ass because I'm going to say fucking retarded. I don't give a good. I don't give a fuck. This child's going to come out de 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 retarded because one thing is she drinks too damn much. And she fucking. I'm surprised she ain't got a fucking STD. I'm surprised she ain't even got AIDS. They all glamorizing these bitches. I'm for real, dog. Y'all glamorize these people a little bit too fucking much. A little bit too much. Because if, if these people gave a good goddamn bunch of ass, why don't you charge your motherfuckers out the ass? Just appear in one spot. What, what, what was it? Snooki went to the, a college and she got paid more than Michael Moore? That bitch was like, what, so like almost in the millions because she wanted to get the... Like, why are you paying an MTV star that amount of money to be at be at that school? Are you that retarded to pay motherfuckers like that just to appear at a, at a college? That's wasting good money. That money could have went into buying equipment for the team for the people that's going to school there, upgrading shit. But you spending on a bitch that drinks and fall down and like to fuck every nigga in sight. I'm telling you, man. That's, that's I'm I'm just fuck. This it just pisses me out. People glamorize these motherfuckers. You see, don't you watch this shit too? I used to watch all them dating shows. I got sick of them. I got tired of them. They're dumb as shit. I still watch Jersey Shore because, like I said, they trip me out with their dumb ass stupidity. Cause they're nothing but a bunch of re-reads. Oh, I watch Hell's Kitchens too. <laughs> I love. There used to be a lot of shows I used to watch, but I, I used to watch Hell's Kitchen. Still love the show. And I watch Jersey Shore. I used to like Road Rules and Real World. Cause one thing is back in the nineties when I started first started watching reality shows, Road Rules. The first season I loved with the passion because it was kick ass. Then I started liking the. Uh, uh, real world. That was all the time when I went to Hawaii. God, cause I think Ruthie is a fine piece of ass. But like I said, man, people glamorize these motherfuckers too much. They ain't, now you gonna ask, what's up with the uh, YouTube stars? I hate them motherfuckers too. They some fake ass people. They more faking in. They more faking as motherfucker, man. I said, ain't you a YouTuber? Yeah, but at least I talked to my. At least I talk to people. If somebody leaves a comment on my fucking video, I respond. I don't act all stuck up and honey mighty <laughs> because I get a fucking paycheck, a big ass paycheck from YouTube. <clears throat> I ain't putting YouTube down. That's a great way to make some good money while I'm sitting up there filling out an application at a damn job. But it's bullshit. These fuckers sit up there and say, like, "Oh, I love my fans." Ooh, I love my friend. Prove that you love your fans. Every, all these reality stars and all these fam YouTube motherfuckers need to prove that you give a good goddamn about your motherfucking fans. Because right now, I don't think you give two shits or a fuck. Because that money is more important to your bitch ass. Why don't you pull the dicks out your ass, grow the fuck up, and stop being such a bitch and a pussy? If y'all go sit up there and love these damn reality show bullshit, go right ahead. Let your intelligence drop a few more levels. Let your kids be dumber than a box of rocks because they ain't gonna have a good education because y'all too damn stupid to sit. Y'all too damn stupid. Y'all sit, you sit your kids in front of these damn TV shows and let them get dumber and dumber by the fucking minute. Now your kids gonna end up being like one of the, one of the members of the Jersey Shore. Oh, I'm a Guido. I'm a Guido. I'm a little. <coughs> Cause I'm sorry about the coughing, but that's how it is. You're and it's stereotyping all this shit. Cause one thing is, when you say Guido and Guido, I see that as a, a a racist slang. It's just like me walking up to a black person and calling them nigger. It's like me walking up to a white person and calling them cracker. It's like me walking up to a Mexican and calling them wetback. It's a fucking negative slang. It's a racist slang. This has been Afro Joe. If you like what I got to say, leave a comment. Oh, so I hope one of these reality show bitches get this video. And 
reality shows get this video and, and say and like it. I hope that if one of these reality shows fuckers see this shit and the YouTube fuckers, I'm, I'm definitely want a fucking video response from running in. Because I'm bitched them out. Because one thing is, I'm tired of these motherfuckers. I'm t I really am. Motherfucker, people, stop glamorizing these people. Grow the fuck up, get the fuck out the house, turn the damn TV off, and grow some fucking nuts. I ain't gonna say balls, because balls been used too much. I'm saying nuts. These people ain't that fucking important in your life. It's bad enough that these, some of these young white girls are sitting there tanning their ass up just to be black or a fucking guido. And that's bullshit. That they put, that's bullshit. I hope one of these reality stars, if it can be anyone from these pictures, I hope one of these reality stars get this video, do a video response, and even these damn YouTube motherfuckers do a real video response, because I'm calling all these motherfuckers fake. If you like what I got to say, leave a great comment or a video response. If you hate what I got to say, kiss my ass and burn the head for all I care. Hope you get hit by a truck and hope your mama dies in your house. If you follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And uh, subscribe to Mother Wookie's video, uh, channel, Mother Wookie. Peace.